Hey everyone, my name is Jibbles, and today we're going to be combining Distance Horizons and Physics Pro Mod. We're also going to be including a few other mods, which I will get to during the video. Firstly, we're going to be turning this game from vanilla step by step. Then, at the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make this work. Because as you know, there's many versions of these mods, and some may not work with others. In result, the game will just crash. After we set it all up, I'm going to do a short little gameplay. Anyways, please have mercy on my PC, as these are pretty intense mods, shaders, and texture packs. Also, drop a like at the end of this video, and if you haven't already subscribed, I mean, what are you doing? Drop a sub. Okay, let's begin. So everyone is familiar with vanilla Minecraft. Looks uh, pretty bad. We're gonna drop straight away from the beginning the two main mods, which is Distance Horizons and Physics Pro mod. We're also going to be using the Bliss Shader as I believe it looks the best with Distance Horizons. Now that's a pretty large difference. I tried to get these mods to work together for a very long time but always failed. The game just crashed so I had to sacrifice one mod, which was always the Physics Pro mod, as Distance Horizons was trending all over social medias, but now we've got both. This looks super immersive. How do we go from this to this with literally only two mods installed? Well, five if you want to consider Iris, Sodium and Fabric API. Anyways, looks amazing but still sounds pretty dead to me. So let's drop ourselves a few mods that will enhance the sound quality. These will be Ambient Surroundings and Presence footsteps. These two mods add a little bit more life and make it more immersive. I mean you can't have Minecraft looking this good and then sounds bad. Next, two of my favorite world generation mods, which is Turlith and Tectonic. Turlith adds over a hundred brand new biomes into the game, yet it doesn't add any new blocks, which is perfect when using a texture pack. It also includes tons of completely new terrain types canyons, shattered biomes, deep ocean trenches, and much more. It also focuses on improving the underground with different cave biomes and shapes. Tectonic, on the other hand, improves the look of mountains that may peak sometimes to Y level 300. It also includes underground rivers that drive through mountains, creating a really cool effect. Combining these two mods together is a must. Dropping the Distance Horizons mod with them two is an even better experience. Next mod we're going to be installing is Nosium. This mod speeds up the biome and chunk generation. If you ever use Distance Horizons, you know it takes a good few minutes to generate a chunk. Well, this mod basically speeds it up slightly which is what we want. Now that our world looks incredible and sounds good, let's focus on the character and the last few mods. Continuity is another must mod if you're going to be using texture packs. You need to install this mod as some texture packs need this mod in order to work correctly. Why? Well Optifine offers an option called connected textures. On fabric we don't have that and some textures may look like this. Once we install this mod it basically connects the textures and make it look a lot more smoother. Next two mods are camera overhaul and first person model. Camera overhaul is such an underrated mod in my opinion. What it does it basically twists the camera slightly when moving it around. It just makes it a lot more immersive and just a great visual effect. Third person model on the other hand allows us to see our character's body, which is also a cool effect to add. Anyways, that's all the mods and shaders. In addition, you could get yourself your favorite texture pack. I added Patrick's one to eight. Honestly, love this texture pack and in my opinion, this couldn't look better. Patrick's offers a variety of texture packs. These are basics, mobs, items, models, add-ons, and bonus. All of these have different features, you can tell by their names. The model one adds some extra details to a few blocks, which I think look pretty cool. Bonus pack gives us extra block types by using slabs. Some blocks are absolutely amazing. And then the add-on one basically works similar to the continuity mod, it blends blocks together. Overall, that's everything. If you're looking to know how to make these mods work, continue watching this video. I'm going to show you what versions of mods you need to make this work. Okay, first let's install Fabric. By the way, all these links are down in the description below in order. Anyways, download Fabric installer and install version 1.20.6. Now in Minecraft, we should have this version of Minecraft. Then go to Iris Shaders, click the download from Modrith, download this version 1.7.2. Next, go to Sodium, third link in the description, and download Sodium 0.5.11. Next, go to Fabric API, fourth link in the description, and download version Fabric API 0.100.4. Next, go to Indium, fifth link in the description, and download version 1.0.34. Now that we got all these mods downloaded, go to your search bar and type percent up data percentage. Click on .minecraft and find the mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, simply just create one. Then everything we downloaded drag it into this folder. I recommend you allocate more RAM into your Minecraft by going to installation, find your version, press the three dots and edit. Here go to more options and you can see your allocated RAM. Now be responsible with this, don't allocate your entire RAM as your PC might break. I have 32 gigs of RAM so I wouldn't allocate more than 16. Normally my highest I would ever allocate would be 12. So be responsible and make sure to allocate it in a sequence of two. So for example, two, four, six, eight, ten, etc. Once we've done that, I would advise you to have all your softwares up to date. I'm using an NVIDIA GPU and an AMD CPU. For my GPU, I have a software called nvidia experience and here we go to download latest updates for my cpu i have amd adrenaline this is where we will be able to install all the latest updates restart your pc after doing that and you can finally launch minecraft to see if everything works fine once everything works fine great let's install the shader which is going to be the bliss shader on their website sixth link in the description scroll down till you see the download links click that close all the ads and click download then go to your minecraft folder again and drop the shader folder into the shader packs it's the same process with the texture packs just download them and drag them into the resource pack folder but i'll not be showing you how to do it in 
in this video. Now for the physics mod and a distance horizons, go to the seventh link in the description and download version 2.1.2 and drag it into your mods folder. For the best experience of the physics mod, you will have to get it on Patreon, which isn't free. If you do have his Patreon, go to the post, scroll down a bit till you see this and download physics pro mod 1.20.6 fabric version. Drag that into the mods folder as well. You can get the free version of the physics, but most things aren't going to be available like the oceans, basically just the blocks will work. Anyways, the rest of these mods are pretty straightforward. Just download the version 1.20.6 and it should work. When you launch Minecraft though, some mods may require another mod for it to work. The game will basically not launch and it will tell you the exact mod that is required. So just download the exact version that it tells you to. This is how my mod folder looks like. Feel free to just pause it and download all the versions. Also, I would advise you to turn off the shader when creating a new world as it might crash. Let it load for a minute or so without the shader on. Then once the chunk is loaded, turn your bliss shader on. Anyways, I hope this video helps you out and find it helpful. Please consider dropping a like and subscribing for more videos. Before we end the video, enjoy this short little gameplay. I'm off. See you in the next one.